Fire. Les faces de la musicalité africaine de Guinée. Juste un regard fixé dans le rétroviseur de la musique guinéenne. Oroya Band Au vocal Feu Lanciné Kanté yeah. <muches> Alhamdulillah et Rabila Lamina Nankan Sibi Andi Masaba Alatando Alemeka Soudama Kanana Koluka Soutouaro Kasusunoke Kakunu Kanabe Kenevoma Anana Baraluke Kenero Anna Nyoye Kanasauna Koluke Allah Ibarika Kuma Dame Natoni Dema Kuma Terandini Jonema Poka Kuma Ni Yiri Julabe Kuma Ni Terandini Ne DJ Babulema Kone Yiri Juni Nabe Yiri Juni Mbake Ala Bela Yiri Juni Nabe Nto Jonye Kuma Ni Foto Jonye La Bento, Atlanta Jamana Leka, Jonah Bondala, Sheriff Photograph, Fama Denke, Kumaka Sheriff, Lonnie Sheriff, Allah Durento Sheriff, Mopaya Sheriff, Mansaya Sheriff, Wadi Sheriff, Nafolotia Sheriff, Sheriff Photograph. Il y a famille maintenant. Il y a une 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 famille maintenant. Photographe ou le coyé. Caméraman. Atlanta Bella n'y tient maintenant. Dini nous tient. Moba Kenny Musso Ben Sheriff ou Ben Kofola Ou Sheriff ou Lekwe Sheriff ou Photographe Sangman Ou qui kuna foula di kasi kuna Ou kamas wako braka yi fe Doukolo ki se no sambra di Ou kamas wako doua ou yi fe Kana kaside Fama Dienke Nedi la kialuma Jembe lu diera du roboma Kana y toto du yakono Ay bara koson Kana besayama Sherif Ndi la Leopold Sedar Senghor ma Senegal Ndi la Ahmed Mbemba Asture Ahmed Sekouture ma la Guinée Bila Félix Ophet Bouanyima Kodouari Kono Kila Nesso Mandema Lama Afrique du Sud Kouma Kote Kouma Kono Le Kwe Chéri Fouito Le Malo Namo Ah Djoulou Ninte Fola Danka Denye Brakate Demenko Djoulou Ninte Fola Wenye Nomo Dena Djoulou Tene Feya Brakade la djoulou ne fe Sherif ou photographe Ikeri fadi keri bebadi Ni masi fake koro 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 yko Dwa ou le mola si la Amerik Braka le mola si la ye Dwa ou ye de do fe Braka to fe Braka ye de do fe Dwa ou to fe Kola ye mou ki nye boutou Ala braba be ke li nye Katiana ndien di ma Katiana mousso di ma Kawolo ba brebre di ma Kampara brebre di ma Kassidia brebre di ma Sherif photographe Iteleke Dunyakana tele kiro 
Simba Lidi, Wara Lidi, Jara Lidi. Dunia la mini sa jama e fola. Oui, il est dit. Ne bagge le vin. Koui bagge le anema. Ne l'ola kemen adala. Kakasi, Nadim Makonya. Oui, il est dit. Mouna y tote fo. Fama denke. Et kana kaside. Mite fo la benye. Koumadina ben shérif. Nabou. Ne colle fort. Mais milon oui milon. Mais kilon oui le kilon. Tu n'y as brassé ignima. Et tout le monde l'a lancé ne cante qu'un an. Namu. Militant qui m'a né musulmano. Allo nourala. Namu. Namu Nyana le nyana walola Bana le bana walola Itunya Nyana tando bali ale nyana konorogu yala Isela maleka kumadi bela dunya Sherifu fotograf andi tando Ila bara bre bre la Amerika nunye Ani dunya nye Ja 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 Aja mandikile Molomba librani sanade Ya dunia yetene la bande dunia la kala kali moto wala yata sambili mansa tu kubili mansa oh bela kuno mansa dunia onke afora wole ba kukul nafsi zali kalma ut mejani satote. Iji jaye long Jani satote Iji jaye toto dunyaro Cheba koro bambali ote mone bo Sherifu fotograf Ito bra dunu yamina ila bara koso Inyo ndolu kili Yalu maye nininka Yalu makaranya Fotografu ya kenya la Yalu makaranya Kameramani ya kenya la Woko foli la bara lefe Dunu yabi kofo sherifu Iteleke Dunu yakana telekiro Namu Salon de Mokotia Di Wadi de Mokotia Di Namu Mobre Soran de Mokotia Di Pana Nakuye Mokole Di Moi Bolode Atlanta Kom Frafina Namu Nami Nata Badi Kadenga Ligi Nenge Lagi Mwali Baturi La Dem Purusta Meme Isoran Kukera Ibalo Kukera Ibalo Kukera Sherif Isoran Kukera Ite masoran tete na fotografi ya nyayela Namu Silante sayasa Amite sayasa Silante sayasa Amite Beiji jaki tote diero Jani tete tote L'excuse pour une musicale Une expression de coeur Mon charpente Direction Ya fadima, 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 ya f
Dibi kanela silam Dibi dibi mani dibi ni maya vane ma Dibi ala vane njugu kani kono ma Kana ta liberia ya rabi kana wa liberia Kana wa liberia kele bambali dumbe liberia Angola, Marifa ke se dunye Angola sira Yana tanja mena, fade ya ke le dunye Na koka ke dollari uko ye mbonye ni kodima Mono fanyo kana waliberia Na koka ke dia mbonye ni koye mbonye ni kodima Oro dembele kana waliberia Na koka ke dumbi ni koye mbonye ni kodima Moro dembele kana wa sonali Kana wa liberia Kana wa angola Kana wa somali Njarabi kana wa yoro janga Ni manya sigere timi na po Kwani kazo kazo kufula shamu Ni manya sigere timi na po Kwani kazo kazo kufula shamu ومن شر عباده ومن همزات الشياطين وأن يحضرون الحمد لله أمسينا وأمس الملك لله الحمد لله لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك له الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير اللهم نسألك خير ما في هذا المساء وخير ما بعده اللهم نعوذ بك من شر ما في هذا المساء وشر ما بعده اللهم نعوذ بك من الكسل وسوء الكبر اللهم نعوذ بك من عذاب النار وعذاب القبر وصل اللهم على أبدك ورسولك نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليم والحمد لله رب العالمين أن ينجين كن يفمي وليك بالمياء سباتي البو سلاة بالمياء سباتي على أندية نوعي على أندية نوعي سلامي تسكا أندية نوعي فو Aye alau tak ala dina kolosi aye nyona jeng kono nyona jeng befeka segini kalau lilikan juna ben luma lumi alau tak ala be selama jurmu yafa aske lum beka bon ngal lumi kafsani lum be alau tak ala feole jumaluin cila kute sallallahu alaihi wasallam khair al ayam yomul juma Lui naf samande ni jumaluni Kaba ala wuta ala ka jumaluni ke Ka ler doka kono Tila bi kali ala wuta ala la Ni ka la dalika ben wati mako Ala wuta ala bi haju jara Abina ira ka fo Ni ka wati fle O soro ka di lanzara le banin kofe jumaluni Donga mo li wati kono nye 
Christopher Columbus, Mimankai, Kafarina, Gano in a fragment banger, Ofratai, Lagine, 
kaje visitke kama ulu mangininga anato naraja usaweni aya fabuku ma dekim here before christopher columbus all right mofa na ye mo ba de mbuma ni gara ni nato nala ana nyinga likra ku manya fe katali ku mi de se kabla la bia ma tali ku mo bro mo ba ni alona mi de na manya ya gbiala la bia kaye na fe ka ku do wigila ay malo la bia ka bna ta fa ma ku pawniens ma fra ma bi ku america liberians uru do du kono I don't need that remina. I number one, quite a sea again. Number two, I business here. Number three, I Christian yala do do kono. Number three, ko kamo rinya makaka se regula ela. I do for a regula ele. I te shakile. I fangela rule. I samada marule. I do do kono labia. I'm a professional in more growth bro for many a Alu te tabu sevela nu te arabi lo Tabu ya labia nu te tabu le na fa manya Mo mi de manya be ku mi masa be ku na labia Ata fa ma ku sa boso kamara manya Ale te manya do mi na mi masa do mi na ka ku te ku te bolo Labia lo ben Basalu, who can you mock over the Kadu Fillet, Labia Catomaruma? A law cup of more Africa girl, Becake Dule Basal in the Kunukado, Kivuli. Why not do me feel like Kalasi? Black any more in their court. King Sao Bosso, more a black mocker, do more really. Crack a fee, I bro. I will a name, I fake a mocker. Ina, you more makele. Sabuso, bra, bo coma, I fire your maku bo polu. A letter we are massacre. Savia colo, Savi cano. Mom not a we are wate, Mania, Bani, Fila, Toma, Belese, Ute we are. Aku ni kato la si do blako kata Marovia kama wula de kuminda lejia basa we mi madu leko kama salu na ne mule awa we du file kohe awa asono don kohe awa na we mi mi na morula or awa na we mi mi na ella kadu do ay bolo awa du le du le bana na feka fa ya bi alu mi na du sana. Men no I have protection na. In the masa mi doki we butu. Kana du ko re gano ni a ingili. Men na la ya. Ngeta be kunte la la. O na kla te mena. Aya ki kun right afa maku King George. We mo dia moto we eh? No. Mo gbe ni eh? Ate ka fu mo gbe ni eh? Mo bru mo. Kesson Mene nani wole? Manya ya balaka. Wa fati minda le mola. Aya fa ba makenge kilinya makana na kwa na lo mola ndela. Ewe manya bro ini nyombro ma history lo. Afoko masafanga mado we wuli. O sundi atake ta tete me. O samai tru tete me. In the water, Mombo Tinombro, Mindelo, Manina, Amabito Tema, Becariani, Momba de Nebelli, 
Fahimin Lagia. Kamobro du Yombro. Ma histoire est Kajan. Wa Momo Mogrelo. Et Mania Maningalabi. Moboni, mais le Modo Magilo. I'm not going to be That's not true. Mona name Mali. Trouble na fala. Come over the flag red oil. I can find my co Korean. Korean we born in Mene. Do me to seven. We talk. I find do we na be co Iraq. Get out of what talk with Mesopotamia. Be Korean. Can we talk to do me a cono? What trouble kai? I a historian. I don't Basi Davidson Nico. A history of history of Africa. Kohori and Utunima, Manya Rila. Wuhuri and Kerudo Nani Ka Akadi and Lu Ruke for more than ten years. Kata Egypt. Flana Nita Yoa Tibino. Kajimina Kaja Ruke Sanitaniko. Kumana to Nala Sudan. Et la vie à quatre mois, je suis Sudan. 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 Try me the le mo la mini no no history bro. Wa me the le mo la nyini na. Fanga we ka mo la. Afa we afanga we ka du fila ai bro nyombro. Afanga we ka nya ai abo du nyombro. So ma fe. Me na we need the new bro. To really. Na kada la bi yala. Ami gija. Milo ya manya do so so lo ini me ambassador of labor kaila timi ai ku ma mo rufe region kono ai lo ka fo manya ya ai ma bo nya ki bro no nyo bro ka mo ke kredi fra gelu ya se mo julu ya se la ku mi mo mi wo rele africa kono mo julu ya se we Comment colonization ambeya parce que ni ka fese ko kelemi barata me le barinke ni do fado ni te e ba foko isem da lorowi e bara me na te o le kalama ni ya kalama ila ku ko te wodi ile la problem te wodi parce que ibrahim man ka fin fin ni ka min be ne mi ene ne to de ko seni brete mais ni ka kuma da sama se ne modul ye koromani ni biramin ka lol travel ko seni sila muna na le sila di to la ni mi na to le ko seni sila a sebe ye mulo ni sa ira kala fana ka po ko to le ko seni sila na ka ndefa na da fa ko to le ko seni kuroma ne mo mso kromale di na kan dia fana da fo ko seni ke tale fana di na kan dia da fo ko seni kamara le fana di ne brete jelendo kromajelendo kamara jelendo ke ta jelendo 
Armadé n'a pas eu de la vie. Il faut que ça a été fait. 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 Il faut que ça a Ali uso blue miti mi na te kadama anda anda mu katoto te lo ka kwa la right bra kwa bra la right bablo kwa e potato green go kata sa so na e bro me jama na man sakale kan te ko potato green fira blue ko ala dro bra bablo ama kuma de ka fo kwa bra bin ka bra no ka so la bra ni ke do ko na jama na damuni ne fira blue di ko a wole ko jo yes jo di se do fira blue no fe ne ba so nya fira blue ko ya de wura la di na duma ala yoro mi ba de se do na fira blue le ko e bro ye ma hake yo ko mi na se la mo ma wole nous sommes des nous avons fait comme une famille. Et quand il y a des maris, c'est un peu la fête. Parce que nous avons fait des 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 nous avons fait Ali ni wara librari la ibo ibo e ato di buku ilamba la yoro mida ni wara e ile makoo ila buku mina yowala wole tala yowole kan imakoo mina yowole bala kona meni ni la kwa kona ni makoo buku mina wole ni buku tu abe nyata le bala tu bala ibara tini ni la sijama dusha fanya kana oke mubwa mimi beka mani kati mubwa mimi beka fanya abe ata librari ni dadama loni duli ni la nkafindo lonche mubwa lufen tisa njia fala ni njofu na kuna ratu mami la. Na kuna ratu mama na nyalo na utumari kafu alikami mfu ni akela tini. Dushwali utolo hakili na utumaro. Degree tembo lo mi na ida kaka vako nanka kara ni nikeje mobile ufe. Me wallahi, ika mumu la kula degree miyablo. Hali dara mori kafu ake doc doctor degree tanye kabulo. Ni kani na la sinya mi mfu la nyawa wallahi tisaja bila. Pasi nika njere sulo. Mali mani kaka kujui tidi. Ada fatofo. Ifa tadi. Na kufa. Ifa fatodi. Adofo, ofa tadi kuma bara bablo. Ibrohi, ni kani ma ni kani ni disa fala ni neto lo kusieni bireti. Ufa tolo kusuma ni bireti. Usuma ni bireti ufa tolo kuma ni bireti. Kuma ni bireti ufa tolo kusuma ni bireti. Inyala kala mo mi mbeda doctor digra vi ono fanya. Ma ni kani tu disa fala ni. Iba me mo tomi na lavlo kutoa bara boni masakabla la mo le sinintere mi ala kulo sebala. Ma ni mbara, uye kuna normal le dambara kafu isu ya mendi. Kuna normal le dambara. Ni misu ya lo fedi haki dila. Ni kaya fola nuka fola fola mbara kwa jiri mini ya mbara. Jiri ya iloni nidi. Mwodole ya londa wole tuda kumala ayye aradu buna kumala dole. Wole kwa kwa jiri korole kwa griyo. Ne kaya lume nkono nkono ma griyo korole menka jiri korole. Ha kwa griyo korole mwini. Nkwa griyo korole femini ni nkafu nina kantila kando edisa alo na mino. Kwa kanta ala kano nkatila kando. Ha kwa nka lo kamina. Nkwa nka lo kamina wole mani kakada kwa kwa jiri. Nkwa mate kambere do. Mwende se kamifu ina animi suru manyona doni Ngwe ka alo jilimi ya ramadi mfadi na yuko lo akanko wei Ni ka jilisi sama kabwa ramadi mfadi na yuko mwye kelala Akadisa, ngwe bro yukura akanko wei Ngwe mwema ni ka sosiete do Afolami mwako jilimi ni ka jilibo mwema ni ka yate mwema berisa Ngwe pasi ni problem wila mwema ni ka linyonte Jilu lila barali Ni mwosara jilu lila barali Ni ya afeka mwodo denfudu jilu lila barali Aramadi nya tunku tunku mbewedi Jelo letter ana tu la nyona. Metu bulu na alka film follow mi kana follow alka ku jelo letter tere la lady. Ku follow belo ku le follow kala. Jelo ya follow lady. Jo ya misi follow kala. Jelo ya loni lady. Nika men ku jelo ya loni ne. Jelo ya loni fana boni rajuma. Mandeng kama nuka lije ma ku muri lo. Wole ka wole ka mandeng konya sebe mandeng da follow nyama ma mandeng da bena nyama ma kado jelo lo bloka liya nyama follow ni. Dunu ni na loni ni yani na kadaluma. Bibi ni ara ni jamara mingkanti. Na fara mo ma kuni loyal lady. Beda bunya ku mo karani ni. Iba fara kantro polisi ni ni. Beda bora beda bunya ku mo karani ni. Iba fara actor ni na kono ku mo sarama ni ni. Iba fara musician ba ni ni beda bunya. Obey jiri ali kirembe. Ni kama ku jiri jiri e counselor lady loyal lady anthropologist lady historian ni. Ia sudah perakkan cuma doh. Aku rasa ini ini bayar bekerja ni. Alia fang lekar aku rasa ni. Ia for anthropologist, lawyer, counselor, advisor, musician, entertainer. Abeb lah kangkilu dia for kangkang doh. Nika kangsun sun nika lah for ni serafat. 
ni ma ni ka ni kene pelo do so ni mo min ka fi na ko jeli ko ro griyo a fa nya ma griyo ko ro i ka ma i ma griyo ko ro ma i ka jeli ko ro lo me ni so nda to ko griyo e jeli le di di la kantine wala ma ya hali jamana ni ka al bawli ka ko ma ni ka bo ni malile min be ka ma ni ka so wa ma ni ka jeli ma ya ko ro juma to mande no ko mali ate yoro si tambara mi ko mali mande mali impaya tambara Mande impaya de fona fona ko mande ngo de fodi me momo no ma fo nyalo ka ko mande am fana bara soma wotu ma jondu ni an ni turuni mo ye na kana ka isu ya fo lenye ile mi isu lo ma mo ba nya fo lenye nya nya lo le do nya fo lenye le nya alumini ko fo la mo ni ala ndenu ka ali a fo lenye femi se ni ali a fo lenye ante mo do ni tandi mo do ni tandi deni emi deni nu ya ndo be ko lo mbali tando ni ka do ka fo se ko mani ka ya gbele ma emi ni ko ambe ko nalo ma tando ni tunya do ni me nalo ma ya ni ko lo mbali ate ke ndi de mo do ye lon ni ni do ya la me fo mo do la la ku na fa di do do so fa nya wole bulo ma ya te te alumin be ya te bamso alumin be ya te ali janto mo lu do ko do ye mo solo de sa ke la te lu te sa ke la bala wo se ma ta bala mo solo ni nyonte ni che lu ni mo solo benado wallahi ata bala ro jang Meni musulu ma baro ni ya fe kabila kabila te ya da mra musulu le folo ni bana musulu da jensena to mana kulu waraka fiu jamana baraba wallahi jamana baraba parce que mi jamana jamana kono ni wara jamana kono ni ya fori ko jamana musulu le jamana mo kalamadi wallahi jamana o disi ni mo lo ba to ko jamana musulu le mo ra kono ni di kordu jamana te ka ni foni wodi jamana te ka ni foni wodi parce que bara te mi besi ni ni te muso mi be ku o mo kelete ya minda afinya kwa le afeka sali kwa le afa muso isa ka na dento o mo si te no mo ya do ibolo na ile ali masan ka ibolo na ile la muso isa ka na dento be ya te le isa ki ni kai kai muso ni dento to ko ile e fimi to le ko ni ka ko fimi to le se ki le te ko kalama na lu kalda ja ka wan di romi do wallahi an wato yedi na lu lon ka ke tolon ko di adi la bambu to roma na lu ka mo lu ye ka ba na mo la ka fa mini afeka kere ni fina do ani nyonte ali kuma ni muso kasira denye ka finfin fanya so bela data so bela muso be kasa ma muso ama kenye ka finfin fanya so bela data alu minu bete ante al fosi di falde na luma kebu de so alu mo dama mi ante to minu mana ala da ja ka nyaira ka lula ka fanya ko mi mate alu ko alu ya ma deme anye femi na tande sa ka la nyame ma binyara teni ka gbele ka fo mo ye sa ima mo ke ko de lu minu kan ka ton ka albrilo baraka ma alu ya fe ka baraka halal ma nyalo anya nyaira ka anya lu ma deme ko ni se wala nyama kuma mi ngono akasia ni ka foko nya be fo andi siam bi do so fe wona nya fe kan lo yoro ndote ha kuma bere wuli mamna wuli sallallahu alaihi wasallam ini ke hala ibrahim president of the wisconsin madingo association he is celebrating with the brothers in minnesota today and we are still in the city of champlain in minnesota welcome to our microphone thank you sir thank you for having me well um everyone is trying to bring unity within the Madingo community and then we understand that there are some problems within your own environment from where you came so how do you think we can put uh, the good work that has been done with brothers here today how do you think that good work can help to solve problems within your own area and now uh, I believe for every problem there's a solution okay. and uh, this is one of the reasons why Kamusa was created and they have shown the first step building unity among the Madingo people here in the United States. Okay. If they can come to a solution here this afternoon in uh, Minnesota, I believe the same steps and process they went through can help us back in uh, Milwaukee. Yeah. And the problem equal in Minnesota within the Madingo community and brothers were trying to put other brothers together to solve that. Though I didn't see you there, but if you were to attend that, what would have been your own message? Let's put individual differences aside. Think of community first. Put your community first before you think of yourself. Yeah. And this is, we should try to be an example for our children. Okay. We are the elders in the community, our brothers and sisters. If we can show examples, by coming together, putting our differences aside, I think our community will be in peace and we will live together as brothers and sisters. Anytime to my brothers, 
these individual differences, put that aside and think of your community first. So how do you think we will actually move this community first when you talk about putting individual differences aside and then putting the community first? You better explain that a little bit because I will understand but other brothers looking at the tape now might not understand fully. Well, if I say individual differences, I meant I might have some set of personal issue with you. Okay. And uh, if there's a program for Musa, and he said, well, I'm not going there because Muhammad is present. But last night, I could tell that there's uh, Minnesota here, people walking towards for peace. I saw the other party members at the program last night. It was shocking. Okay. Well, it was also something that I was like, wow, this is good. They're trying to put their differences aside by attending program. For the past two, three, four years I've been coming here, this was the first time for me to see them over there. So that's, I believe, they are trying to put their individual differences aside. And secondly, they have agreed to sit on a round table to have a discussion. Okay. Individual differences have gone. Okay. And now they're coming back to the community. Okay. So I believe, as you know, the tensions trying to heal, the individual difference is going to go and we will come together as a community. You want association that they have total peace here, not as compared to your own area. Now you've realized that there's misunderstanding here as well. What's your regret? Oh, basically I would say, you know, like, everybody gonna be surprised if you hear that there's a disunity between Madinos. I was very, very ashamed to hear that there's a disunity here too as well, because they were trying to bring unity to Milwaukee. And if I heard the same thing, trying to come down here, it was really surprising and shocking to me as well. I believe presidents, organization heads will talk to one another about how to run their bureau organization, exchanging ideas. So when you heard this, I believe you talked to Ishmael. And what did you say to him? I support the community first. As a leader, there's be, there will be ups and downs. So I talked to him, keep your calm, talk to those people, have an open door policy, tell them to come in. Never close your door. And did you talk to the opposite force? Unfortunately, I did not. Was it because of what? Well, no, I, can, I have no reason, but I did not talk to them. But were you trying to serve as a peacemaker or what? My secretary did. Maurice Krumai did, and now my speaker did. Uh, liability. And what did you tell them? One of the opposition leader is the best friend of my former speaker. Okay. So he told me that he can uh, take care of these issues. And unfortunately, when he came back, he did not bring uh, any message that I can keep hold on to. And you did not equally ask him? No, I did not. And secondly, those guys were allies to the other groups in my community. They communicating and they bring things together. Okay. So my the only thing I did towards this peace process was to talk to members of FAMUSA. Okay. That if they can do everything they can to bring peace into Milwaukee, oh. and Minnesota, oh. it will be great. And they promise that they're going to take that step to do it. And I think they have taken the first step this afternoon. Was it, was it like you and Ishmael were being struck with the same stick, so you tend to maybe south with him a little bit yes. in the way, I mean, in the direction that he was thinking or what? Yes. So in that direction, if you were to say yes, like you just said the stick there, right? Yes. Uh, does that help in unifying our, our brothers and sisters? Yes. How? By not closing the door on them. Telling them, and that's the message I have for every leader. We are, our doors are open. We're ready for peace. And we are ready for reconciliation. Whosoever wants to come, the door is open. Come and just join us. And that's a message I have every time. So are you willing to negotiate with your brothers in uh, Milwaukee right now? When you mean negotiate, sit on a round table with them? Or in what sense when you mean negotiation? In an area where the both of you will be able to agree with an idea to move the community forward. First of all, by sitting with them, Again, I go back to what I said previously, the doors is open. Yeah, who, who's going to maybe welcome his or uh, her brother in? Since indeed the doors is open. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that. And how are we going to do that? Through an immediate. Do you have one now? Yes, Famosa. Okay. And then, when are you thinking about lifting a restraining order that you have on? the opposition was in Milwaukee. <laughs> Whenever Famusa get back to us, that they are ready to come in.
be like today you brought your son and then they brought their children here we are attending the program here the, the both of you don't work together but you see the two children together and later on what are you going to say to your child like for example you have restraining order on somebody that wherever you are they shouldn't reach there but the two children play together <laughs> so were you equal to tell children not to play with their children or? not at all yes but the restraining order could be sending a little bar signal or something like that or what do you think well it left with the parents to decide if you know where i'm going to be and you let your child go there that's your own decision i mean you guys are an example of your own children mm -hmm. so do you see that as a good example like i said that left with the parent to decide who are the parents <laughs> okay, okay. How, how mother wants to make a comment to Inshallah. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, my name is Kafo. My wife is coming to my own baby. My father is here now. Now, well, the camas are perfect. Your dinner is coming. I say you have been there. You know, you have been there. You have been there. You have been there. You have been you are bent, my girl. At least now, you remember. He bent, my girl. At least now, you younger can. Muta udwa lumi na salario. Muso ulete fanga la. Koko tibe na la. Che ute muso uleki la. Kama somo bani kela buluma. Fanga be muso la yari akati mi che koka. Muso unu lete alimata refugee malumi sora mata filela. Kadi kadi ama. I attack his son, and you know, Mark of a Cotia What for one manya, Kelema haki di mo mi matena na haki sora uto. Mo mi fola ni ai loja ai kekele ni. Abi loja kake kele ni. Bene kubedi ya. Nu muso ufa ni mo pe sekilo akwala. Wanya luma be. Doche ni doche beni dalo. Mo matena na bena. Mo bote na la jikengo. Ai nu muso u organize somi na dena. Ni ache u bende atena na bena. Somi beni oro fuche u loja kabe. Na kake kere ne, waka, mwale seka fanga soro, mwa juumuru mwako. Wanya, nya mwama kake kere ne, mwate na nafanga soro la hama. Ala awa atipe mwaka te mwanyo wana binale. Na trefu la wengwa hako kukosu pedi ya internet la benye de umburu. Mwa wukuma umene. Awewe tulo uto wake la muru mwako. Awe fanga soro mwama. Awe fanga soro mwama. Mwafa itina ni lola, kafo kumwako to, mwadi ya nangumafola anyako. Eh mi goto ko ma wa boye no ba alu mu bendalo. Eh mi ne ni utu mo u mo ko mo je gbu inyongo. So ai lo ja ai wo dabla. Be mi ri kele mi na nyama, be fa ni mi donga ni nyama ma. Be mi ri bitele ma mo abolo mi malabi. Mo ti ma lo nka fo mo abolo mi malabi mo te na kete no. Ko fo me ye te na kete. Mi de na wo kala be na wo ka mo be do fangala. Fe fe sini ni, fe fe ko ka mo be so ne bela. So mi bela. Nya minga tamike aya fanya na awo fa oti nya na nya akake som blafe ne abla nya fa nda blafe ne o wa ka mo pese ki la dama abla nya minga wa mo wa fa ka fa ko mo gban za e bi nya na o wa ka be ke tinye di tinye ni mindo ye atoto ta le kunne te no re mo do bro ma bi mo te fo ima fo de nta sebu tu nu je la guta wa di be ke wolo mo be finge mo be timi mino mo be se a be ke se ni ai lo ja ai bialo Okay, but uh, I think they, we get sufficient warning here and sufficient currently. And uh, this is an advance warning also to the federation that's going to be formed. You get a lot of information here that you need to make use of. So again, for us that are coming up again, young leaders, we always give warning again, learn from the mistake of the past. Learn from the mistake of the, our, our brothers that passed before us so that we can correct ourselves and make good judgment, inshallah. Uh, we want to get two more comments, then inshallah, then we try to close the, uh, the session from here. Oh yeah, and uh, today we are here in an effort to bring our brothers and sisters together.
as my dingoes, and uh, we are talking about unity today. So, how do you think we can uh, unify the Madingo community? How do I think? Wow, I mean, first of all, I'm taking I'm taking by surprise here. I have no idea what's going on here. However, I appreciate it. Uh, uh, the mere fact that we all <clears throat> mounting on this place here to me is a good sign, you know, it, it signifies that we all want unity in the community. As far as how do I think we can unify, I don't think it's an individual thing, it's some kind of thing, you know, it's something that we all have to contribute towards. But first and foremost, I think, you know, our willingness to come together, to sit down and discuss, no matter how difficult it is, to me, that's, that's a step. And as soon as the you know, meeting commences, as soon as we begin the discussion, uh, points that I have personally or on behalf of my institution will be made clear. And I believe uh, from the brief discussions I've had with my colleagues here this morning, people belonging to our end. Uh, we've discussed nothing but good things that could you know, resolve the situation to make us once again. So, but I think it will be a little bit premature for me to begin you know, revealing those here. When in fact, I'm not the, you know, the appropriate person to do that. The president just went by. Uh, I've not been authorized you know, to say any such thing. But on the personal note, apart from the organizational aspect, I think we all have to be flexible, you know, because at the end of the day, we are we are all one people, you know. No matter what happened, no one has murdered any, you know, anybody from anybody. It's not like we're talking about people, you know, by where we come from, who you know, caused so much harm to us. Okay. There's no, unlike this situation, we don't have any such thing, you know. So I think we all have to be flexible, reasonable, give and take, you know, so that we can move forward. People continue to say that Madingos in Minnesota are absolutely united. Mm -hmm. And then some other people from other states right. are a little bit taken aback yeah. hearing that there is a problem in Minnesota. Right. So what do you think is the problem? problem? You know, again, that's one of the things that I, I even found difficult to, to answer, you know, or within myself because uh, the problem is it's, it's not like it's not one thing that any, any of us can just pick up to say this is it this is trash out today there you go we have it it's something that has been accumulating over the years you know on and on and on you know like a bomb type of thing a bomb you know time type of thing uh we've talked to people people in authority that you know at a given point in time we've addressed some of our concerns to them uh somehow a lot of it a lot of those complaints have been down you know downplay you know for whatever reason i do not know but if I can just pinpoint one thing right now, right. in my opinion, I think it will be disrespect, lack of disrespect among us. Yeah. Uh, whether it's from, you know, uh, whether, whatever that's based on, I do not know, but whether it's from elders towards the younger, you know, the young staff or the young people towards the holders, but disrespect is a great problem in our community. And if we can get those taken care of, uh, I believe we can go a long way. Toyota Madingo Association. Right. Uh, I spoke with you before and you told me you are one of the founding members. Uh -huh. And now you are forming another group again uh -huh. that is different from the Madingo right. organization that we refer to as MMA. Uh -huh. So in this direction, mm -hmm. do you see yourself mm -hmm. as a renegade? If yes, tell us why. If no, tell us why. I don't see myself as a uh, I take big exception to that. I don't see myself as that. I never Why have do you think you should not be regarded as I, I never have been and hope, uh, hopefully I never will be in the future. Uh, first of all, I'm one person who believes in giving people choice. You know what I mean? Uh, I hate the idea of restricting people to status quo. This is what you have, you either belong to this or you belong to nothing. I hate that. I've hated that all my life. Uh, having said that, the Minnesota Madingo Association, uh, I am a funding member for the remit, get down the record. Okay. I, as a matter of fact, in my opinion, I like to regard myself as a funding father. Okay. You know, my, some of my colleagues would disagree with that, but that's my personal thought. Uh, when we funded the Minnesota Madingo Association, we had dreams, you know, like every organization, you know, we have. But as time went by, you probably as you've witnessed, you know, we've gone off track so much that we thought it was about time, you know, to start something new, you know, a fresh name. Because a lot of times, things like that do work. If you think about, uh, if you think about uh, uh, League of Nations, okay. League of Nations, for instance, there wasn't much big problem with it other than the fact that it wasn't living up to people's expectations. Okay. You know, and so there's the, the, the nations around the world saw the need mm -hmm. to come up with new idea, a new idea meant new uh, nomenclature. Mm -hmm. You know that will and re-energize people to move on. You know, in, uh, unifying the world as a whole. Now, United Nations, failure of uh, the League of Nations. So, just making sure, you know, so, uh, 
comparison. Mm -hmm. So MMA, as, uh, you probably disagree with me, but in my opinion, has not lived up to it, uh, its expectation. It has failed us miserably. Mm -hmm. And I don't blame anybody. I mean, all of us should be blamed for We all got share in that. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that I do not share, I, I shouldn't be blamed for, is the fact that is that uh, we want people to get on board, you know, come, come with new ideas, and probably come on board with new organization, new names, so that the new name that has been associated with failure will cease to exist. So together we can ride on the new name new energy and new, you know. Yeah, but this is uh, the point. Uh, let, let me make a clarification first. Uh, I'm not disagreeing with you or agreeing with you, mm -hmm. but I'm speaking here as an individual person uh -huh. so that we'll be able to unify the Madingo community. I just wanted to make a quick clarification. Uh -huh. Back to the topic. Since indeed, you brought about the Minnesota Madingo Association, uh -huh. and that should be a very big pride, and I, I still believe mm -hmm. that you maintain that pride. How about you? Okay, yeah. and you said it has become a failure. Mm -hmm. So why do you think people should trust you mm -hmm. that the new one you are bringing up mm -hmm. is not going to be a failure, one. Mm -hmm. And two, mm -hmm. others might argue that mm -hmm. instead of forming a new organization, why don't you try to use the strategy that is going to be used to create a new one to strengthen the old one that you have? You know, going back to from the beginning of this, uh, whatever this, uh, if this is, whatever it is, that's what I mentioned. That I've told, we've told people, we've discussed among ourselves, and we keep an open mind. If that becomes the consensus among people, that rather than a new one, which this is still workable, uh -huh. I, I think I, we are somehow open to that. Okay. But the, with respect to why should people trust me, uh -huh. there's many reasons why they should trust me. Uh, first of all, we've gone, we've gone clean. Uh -huh. I've not told anybody that. How clean are you? I'm very clear. Well, I mean, we have not told anybody that this has failed because of X, Y, Z. We've told people this has failed because of all of us negligent. We all made mistakes. What, what were some of the mistakes that you made personally? From the genesis of uh, uh, MMA, the leadership structure, uh, our failure to even set up a board of directors, which we've never had since the organization was funded. To me, that was the biggest mistake because a lot of the issues of how we made could have been resolved by a board if we had one. What we you say? I just told you those are all part and parcel of today's conference. We are open to discussions like that. So typically the new organization is not actually being formed yet, but from the meeting <laughs> we are gonna know what it is formed. Is that right? Uh I don't know. I couldn't confirm or disconfirm that, but we'll find out as soon as we get to the meeting here, hopefully we'll find out uh, where we are, you know, at what level. You know, we'll find out. But the one meanwhile the one thing I want you to, I want you to get clear is that we are committed to whatever that will read you the fathers community. I mean, no man is an asylum, you know. Madingo unity is always is our overall goal, you know. I mean, I can't be anything, I can't be successful without you. You know, can you be without me? So it's like interdependent kind of thing, you know. We need each other to move our community forward. And the need for us to be unified is more, you know, important now than ever. So with those things in mind, anything that's worth bringing our people together, we are willing to make such processes the, towards that. You told me the other day that you created a website. Absolutely. Okay, and then you are saying that from the meeting today is mm -hmm. going to be determined. Right. You cannot tell as to whether uh -huh. uh, the new organization is going to stand uh -huh. or it's going to continue with the old one. Uh -huh. You say you cannot make that decision. Uh -huh. And then you have gone uh -huh. to the extent of forming uh -huh. a new website. Right. So let's well, try to dig between the land and the Like I told you, you got to understand. I'm really a secretary I'm here. Right. I'm, I'm really a secretary here. A lot of time I do what I'm told you to do. You write everything. Not. Yeah, right. You write everything. Absolutely, but most of the time I do it on a, a, a specific instruction. Okay. That at time I've done it on my own, but I still so have to have. So even if you're giving the wrong instruction, you still go ahead and write. Well, you know, the, what is being telling you know, us? You know, the, that's the one good thing about life. Mm -hmm. There's no absolute wrong, no absolute right. You okay. know, it depends how you look at it. You okay. know, what's right to you may not be right to me. What's wrong to you may not be wrong to me. It's, the term wrong, right, they are relative terms. You know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when I'm giving something to write, a lot of time we have healthy debate about it mm -hmm. among ourselves. And at the end of the day, if we agree that it's worth writing about, and then I'll take my time, you know, one to minute. write. One you know, So that's how it's been. Before I leave you, yeah. you openly stated uh -huh. that there were mistakes made uh -huh. when we had the Minnesota Madigo Association, uh -huh. or when you formed the Minnesota Madigo Association, uh -huh. and you admitted being part of those mistakes. Uh -huh. Let us open it, let's say, open up criticize yourself a little bit about your own mistakes that you made. <laughs> I reserve comment on that. I do admit we made mistakes, but for considering the time factor, I, I decline to comment on that. At the appropriate time, I shall. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, first of all, uh, good evening. My name is uh, Mohammed Sharif, son of Al Haji Fantamadi Sharif. Uh, a lot of you here probably may have, uh, you know, probably work at some point with the old man back home. Yeah, this is a very uh, absolute pistafia. <laughs> 
uh, I'm very honored to be here with the North Carolina, uh, North Carolina delegates. Uh, here tonight, is, uh, this evening, is uh, Mr. Uh, Vamuya Salif, who is the Association of North Carolina. And then we also have Mamiata, and also the person who does, uh, you know, make the, everything happen for us back there. And uh, I serve as the Secretary General. Uh, having said this, I'm particularly thrilled uh, for the quality of people we have here this evening. Uh, currently, we have a situation like this in, uh, in North Carolina where we're really trying to explain to our community uh, our rightful place in society, whether that is in uh, the U.S. or it is back home. Uh, one thing I must say, patience is, is, is a virtue. Uh, let's practice patience. Uh, and we should also know that uh, as Mandingo, if you look at the history that our uh, 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 knowledgeable people just explained to us just a few minutes ago, we are first class. First class. Let's put that in the back of our mind. We are first class in everything. Once we realize that, then we can actually uh, elevate to the positions we need to be. Uh, we need to have dialogues in our communities. Uh, and when we were told that this is what's going to be happening here, this is the beginning of that, we were very thrilled to, uh, uh, to you know, canvas around one another to you know, make this trip. Uh, I would like to say to uh, my brothers and sisters and, uh, and our uh, mothers here as well, success is what brought us here. And in my view, success basically is measured by three things, basically. Your heritage, you got to take care of your heritage. Uh, politics, no matter what, you know, how you see it, whether you like it or not, we all have to be politically, politically involved. Economics is something we have to understand as a community. I'm going to go back to the first one. Uh, our heritage is what we're doing, right, you know, is part of that we do right now, which is our culture, our religion, how we live, our history. They are a very important part of our life. We need to help our children understand these things so that when we are not here, they should carry on these things. It, it should be our legacy. So that they should carry on the work our, you know, our grandfathers and great-grandfathers have done. So it is very important. There's a lot of things concealed into our heritage. I don't want to prolong this thing right here. The number two is uh, uh, politics. Why politics? Every man by virtue, by nature, you are a politician. Whether you like it or not, you are a politician. In your own house, you use politics between your wife, your children, your neighbor, to implement politics to make things happen. This is another level of politics. We should, our community, we should inform each other. We should be patient with one another so that we can all be politically informed. It's very, very, very essential in our community. All right. Uh, and besides that, uh, the, 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 the last thing I will say here tonight, uh, we all have to be kind of economically uh, uh, informed. There is a wealth uh, uh, circulating in our community. Liberia today, you see, we send a lot of Western Union to any other person. And, and that makes the economy to move over there. It's our people being served. Those are questions. I think those are some of the things, fundamental things that actually make us to uh, make the trip, this long journey here to discuss them, to understand these things uh, is very important to us. So uh, without taking too much of, uh, of, uh, of the time uh, this evening, I will say again that we are very thrilled to be here. There's a lot of issues we here to understand. Some of us here to really be, uh, be observers. Uh, and we hope to hear a lot of things from you guys that we can take back with us, learn some things, and we can all work together. We understand that have been, there are some conflicts here, and we pray to Almighty Allah that uh, Almighty Allah kind of, you know, help us uh, bring some understanding among our you know, people in our community, our elders, our brothers and sisters. So hopefully this convention is the beginning of something that is going to be historical. Uh, it is already historical, but it's going to take us some places we want to go, inshallah, and I pray that all this happen. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Brother Sharif, I promise us that you'll take us from place from here. So we will look forward to that 10 years from now, inshallah. Uh, we will now uh, call on our brother from Wisconsin to be able to give us a few words to inshallah. And I want to say here, you know, the very beginning of the conversation from all brought up on something for people to apologize. But apology <coughs> is not just by words, you know. I can say apologize, you know, by words, by whatever. But what comes to apology is sincerity, you know. You can just say right now, okay, sorry for what happened, what happened. But pulling your mind, are you doing it out of sincerity or are you doing it out of faith? You know, because you see people here, you want to say, well, let me clear my path. And uh, people should, before you say apology, 
have a sincere mind in yourself that are aware what I'm saying right now, I'm deeply concerned about what I'm that saying right now. That way, you put yourself in a moral obligation to what you say to the people right here. So let's have that in our mind that before we can say sincerity, before we can say apology. What do you want? And one thing that also happened again about the apology, I want everybody to understand the fight again. The, the party involved in the conflict, you know, I don't want anybody to have the understood that way. It was because our people come around here. That's why we have to say this, that, this, that. And whoever involved in the party, nobody should take the side, you know, and feel that they're being superior to the other people. You know, I know it's going to happen. Some people will say, well, you know, I ain't not been these people here. I'm not going to attend it. And you that feel that you're guilty about it and you're making an apology, don't feel belittled that I wear, you know what, uh, I'm doing this here. You know, so it comes both ways. So my main message behind the apology is we're going to be sincere of what we're saying and when we say it, we mean it. Because one of the difficult things about apology is when you say it and go back again and start knocking your chest, man, you know, I did it because I did it because for the sake of people. You're not being sincere to yourself, not honest to yourself. So my only message to that is everything we're doing here right now, we all doing it for a cause. You know, you ask everybody here right now, what is the main cause we got to hold on? It's not there. And not to uh, repeat everything he said, you know, everybody know exactly where our province are in Liberia. And this is the problem between all here right now. It's not a Liberia problem, it's a Madingo problem. So let's look at a broad picture of Liberia problem and identify that and go for that. Like the young boy also say, just an example, I, I, on CNN today, they show this Jewish puppy, very old, you know, with all this wet beer and other things. He's standing on the street, the CNN girl will intervene him, him because he's a Jewish warrior. He proudly saying that I'm a, I'm a rebel. I wonder if anybody watched CNN yeah, yesterday. I did, I did watch it, yeah. He proudly saying he said I'm a rebel, a Jewish puppy. Why? Because he went to the, the Palestinian bosses that were around. He planted bomb into the bosses, and the bus exploded, killed a lot of people. So you were underground movement that was doing that one, and he's saying that I'm a, he was a rebel. Why? Because he was hating for a cause that even brought a change in the whole leadership of Israel. So he proudly saying I'm a rebel, and it's not hurting him because his goal was achieved. Like our brother then that walk on the street, they could say the same thing: I'm a rebel, provided the cause is being achieved. So not to make matter long, I had a very short time here and uh, the initiative brought up or whoever that, uh, set up this thing here is very, very encouraging. And let's try to hold on to that advantage and see how well we can improve our community. And uh, we hope to see more of this coming. And the next time we we'll see again, we should be talking about how we can get, you know, this, that in Liberia instead of uh, what between Famo and Kenya or whatever. So that's my short message to you. In Minnesota, the city of Champlain, and we are fortunate to be with brother. You were introducing them. attempts in different areas before to give breath to such an organization and I thought with that convention we've already started and now uh, yes we will only coach everyone there might be a lot of people who could contribute more but they were not there we just want to urge everyone to give their blessing to this organization put their resources into it so that we can go from there on Basically, you said uh, there were some people who did not attend uh, the formation of the Mosa over there, or the big meeting, that's what it was shot. Uh, what would be your own message to those people? Because maybe for the benefit of this tip, they want to know some of the things that went there in the spirit of unity. Well, we, I, from what I gather, because I did not go there in person, from what I gather, 
There were thousands of our brothers and sisters who gathered uh, in Philly uh, for this convention. Even though there will always be differences uh, regarding the formation of such a huge organization, there were other people who didn't go. They might defy. But the only thing, whether or not, one thing that everyone holds is the fact that we all believe that we should have a united Matingo front because we had a lot of things to do, especially back in Liberia. And for our community, whether you went there or not, uh, if these children who made effort and went there, they set up their leadership, I think they should have our blessing and so that we can get the support for almost everyone to make that uh, uh, Femusa realizes its challenges. That's a very great message. And uh, let's look at your own contribution towards the formation of Femusa. Though you did not attend the meeting, but you might have contributed one way or the other. Yes, I've always been there. Especially I, when I graduated, there was a program here for Richmond and myself, the present president of the Musa, uh, Mohammed Kone. I, friends and brothers over there had a, uh, a graduation party for him and me. And immediately after that, he engaged me, challenged me as to what we could do for the um, unity of the Madingo community. And from there, we, uh, Brother Amara Kone, who was uh, with the, Minish, I mean, the, uh, the executive marshal in Monrovia and I, were giving the tax to put some things together. We sent some communications to the effect, uh, but uh, as we struggled, things did not pick up at that time. But with the creation of a Musa, when the president called me and talked to me the last time, I told him I was willing. And that's one of the reasons why I'm here, okay. to preach the message across, that whatever difference anyone may have, with this organization, the organization has started. We can only push it forward. For me, I I did uh, organization, and I think I have some background in creating organization, community building. I'm willing to help in whatever way to push this organization. I've told the president, and I've given my words to them. And I'm intending to travel, like from in the Midwest, from city to city, to see what I could persuade uh, those boys who hold some respect for me. Uh, as far as promoting the interests of our Madingo community is concerned. Now, there were some people that had problem with uh, the first convention that just went up, and uh, they did not want to attend, but later on attended it. What message will you have for those brothers who are going to receive this thing? The organization has a victory. And for those who made up their mind and went there, we should say congratulations to them, because no one is going to invite anyone to become a Madingo person. Once you are a Madingo, you are just a Madingo. And no one should sit out there and say, well, these people did not invite me, these people did not invite me. The only thing we can see, if someone has started, that's our organization will start, someone will start the organization, and the rest of you can be on it. Especially, I have not received the constitution copy, but I understand elections are here every two years. So everyone has the opportunity. There are a lot of our elder brothers here who might have had the highest level of education. They will have the, we have the opportunity to come as well in the next few years. Let's bless whatever is going on now. That's what I would challenge everyone to do. Uh, for me, Kona is an educated Nadingo, and his contribution is so great in the society. So we think there is a need for him to run next time for the presidency of Peter Musa. What's going to be your own message in that direction? That to contribute to building a uh, society. I'm always willing to serve my community in many capacities. I I don't know what would be the situation, but if the population feels that it is me who should head the organization, I unless otherwise, I don't think I should not be in a position to say yes to the call of the people. Okay. Whether they call me for presidency or not, I, I think I should be there to contribute and I'm willing to contribute. So let's put the issue or the embryonic stage of a Musa. Let's think that, oh, Brother Fofi Kwane was in the spotlight as head of the organization. This is a very crucial time. What do you think would have been your uh, way of augmenting the organization to a stage that nobody expects? Well, I know the first challenge we have at hand is unifying our community. Because there were a lot of organizations, Madingo organizations. Some of them found them with different objectives. Some of them for social reasons. But I think I mean, our problems are by far before beyond that. We, I think this is the opportunity 
this is the opportunity for anyone to bring the Madingo community together. That would be my first thing to do, and that's what I'm here. I'm here today in Minnesota. I want to travel the other area, give the message to them, look, come together. Once we can unify the community, then we can bring some agendas that will benefit our community, not only for now. We want education in our community. Who will tell the people to go to school? We want to involve in other activities back in Liberia. Who will tell the people what to do? Once we build our strength around uh, one another, from there we can be able to get those messages across. But our first challenge, and the first challenge to the leadership in Femu to Femusa is to get to all of our Liberian brothers, uh, the Madingo community, tell them that we know there's a need and no one will say no to them, that we've already started there, give us a blessing, tell us what is necessary for our community, and we want you to put away all of the differences, come and give us your support so that we can move forward. I think that's, that would be the challenge for Femusa. I've been fortunate to attend a negotiation amongst uh, members of the Minnesota Madingo Association and what some people might term as renegade group or renegade. Some people call them that way and some people said they disagree. They have many names. All right. And you just negotiated amongst them. And what was uh, some of the uh, important points that you struck over there? I think that there was no need to divide because if you divide your resources, you are exploiting the Maringa community. The very few educated ones that are among us need to amass our efforts together, but not to be divided. You know, that's the message we give to them. There might be some differences uh, based on uh, what one wants to tackle uh, first, but I think they all believe that the welfare of our Madingo community is their priority. And we don't want to go into detail of what we discussed, but the message was that we need their cooperation. And not only for here, whether it's Minnesota, whether it's in New York, Lemani, or wherever Madingo organizations are, we want to put the Madingo community first, the interest of the Madingo community first. You know, and the best way we can do that is to amass our resources, put our efforts together, forget about what individual differences we might have, based on interest, based on ideology, but we think the interest of our Madingo community comes first. And that would be the message, and that was what we gave to them. And I think our brothers were receptive. They understand our position, and I think they're going to make some progress. This is an opportunity for you to speak to a lot of brothers in the United States uh, with regards to Madingo, the Madingo community. So what's your own, uh, last message before you leave us? Well, I just tell uh, everyone that I mean, you were fortunate to be Madingo. We know the strength of the Madingo Empire dating back to Mansa Musa. And you know, we know how we spread around West Africa. And we think you have the strength. You have the strength to be a huge force in the entire West Africa. Once you can come together, I urge everyone to come together so that we can position ourselves into where our grandparents were. Because if you look at the Madin Empire, look at what Mansakanka Musa did. Besides that, you come around Guinea with the time of Al Mami Samori Ture, you know, the strength of Al Mami Samori Ture, who produced, I mean, who in fact introduced in the first time uh, Gorilla Tate in warfare. It tells you that Madin people are, are, I mean, we, we have a lot of resources. Economically, we are strong. Uh, religiously we are strong, educationally if we can put in more in those areas, we should be able to do well. The West Africa know our strength militarily, you know, that's something that no one will doubt. So there are a lot of things we can offer and I challenge everyone to just come together and see what we can do for our people. They need us and we must be there for them. That was the voice of Brother Fofi Kone speaking to them. We say welcome to our microphone. Alright, thank you. Seko, I believe, yeah. Not that I believe, but we are in Minnesota today. What brought you here? Well, the, given the situation that we are all in the Bingo and versus Muslim, and that we are bound to be there for one another when it's necessary. So we came to stand with our brothers in San Diego, San Diego, you know, Mark Simon. The most happy woman in one life. And you sound like uh, 
we are pushing United in that area and that's something that we are looking for today within the Madingo community. So if we were to ask you what's going to bring about unity amongst the Madingo people, what would be your own message? Uh, well, just to identify the fact that uh, we are all Madingo and uh, the common goal of Madingo, the common goal of everyone as a Madingo person should be to you know come together, overcome the opposing force that we have in our in order to do that, we got to cement our connection as Madingo people and identify our problems and also identify the challenges that we are facing in our own country. Okay, so what community does seem to be dividing them? Oh, well, it's all, it's all about personality contest, you know. I would term it as a personality contest. This person feels where he's the more appropriate person to lead the community, okay. and the other person feels that they are the more appropriate person to lead the community, probably based on, you know, income or education or what, you know. But well, the proficiency of any leader is how much you have to bring it put together and do the work. Okay. And then when you talk about that, it tells me that maybe some form of bigotry or something is happening within the medical community where somebody feels like I'm the senior brother. Yeah, but and that's, what I, the that's what so, I just relate to personality. So I want contest, you go you know? I, I want you go in detail a little bit, you know? Yeah, that's what I say as a personality contest. The personality contest is where hey. Um, you know, I was born before this person, or I've been in this city before this person, or I occupy this, you know, I get this source of income under this person, so I cannot allow the person to lead. A leader was born, the world created. So, how can we get away with uh, some of these things? Oh, to eradicate some of uh, uh, the virus that we have right now in our community, that says to the person that comes to this, you know, we got to make sure whoever that the masses, we, we have to endorse the process of democracy. If someone is elected, you know, by the people, come on, may give the person the support. If you want to be on a campaign, if you get elected, other people will rally again, you know, around you. But if you undermine the leadership of another person, given the circumstances the individual is facing, with, come on, when you ascend to public office tomorrow, what do you expect? The person to go undermine your leadership. So that's not going to take on anywhere. What, what, what's your own thinking about uh, the organization that was being formed in Philadelphia? with regards to the entire United States, I mean, Madingo is coming together. What's your own thinking about that? Yeah, well, I endorse the idea and, uh, you know, thank those that even put the, form of the framework together because we cannot really overcome the challenges of having liberty. We speak in, you know, with one voice. And how do we speak with one voice? we got to relate to one another. Put the community together, connect together, you know. When we say that, we are talking about the Madingo people speaking, you know, but where you don't want, like, you know, during the, before the convention came to pass, there were other people writing this and that, you know, on the international wire, you challenging other people, you know, under my degrading other Madingo people, other people from our community, laying back, say, okay, yeah, here we go. Now the Madingo put the notebook, you know, they're proving it to each other. Okay. So we should use our education to fight against our common enemy that we have in our country, but not to, you know, degrade each other. So do you think it would be better for us to sit around the table, talk amongst ourselves, instead of going on the internet to fight one another because yeah, this has been wi I mean, widely spread or what? Yeah, obviously, you know, um, you got to have dialogue to resolve problems. Okay. You understand? What brought us in exile today is because our you know, nation failed to have dialogue. Okay. And uh, we as community, if we don't have a dialogue, how do we achieve our goal? We got to have a dialogue. It is, one, it is one of these that you are attending here today. I mean, we are standing here at the homes of Musa Kamara. And then uh, you were just being spotted. Oh, brother, let's go and attend a dialogue at Musa's house between our brothers in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Now, if we were to go and sit right there now, what would be your message? Oh, well, by nature, in, in fact, I was already planning something else when you told me to have a meeting that has to do with reconciling differences between the Madingo community. Mm -hmm. And by nature, I'm a Madingo man. No one has, you know, come to me and, well, yeah, you got to do this. You know, once it's Madingo, I am a Madingo problem. I am a Madingo man bound by nature of the attorney. Okay. You know, and giving the explanation, yeah. you know, doing the you know, or dialogue, we will be able to give our little understanding and our recommendation to resolve the problem. For your recommendation, though you have not given it, you have not heard what is going to be said over there, yeah. but do you think there will be peace today? Oh, well, if our brothers are willing to identify with the cause you know that we face in Nigeria, they will be able to give away their bigotry and uh, their personal things. 
you know, and come together and support the community. You know, the best thing we can do is that let's just forget about individual problems okay. and look at our parents that are suffering back for our brothers and sisters and things that are generally affecting the Madinga people and say, well, hey, it's not about Bamba, it's not about, you know, Kumara or whatever, but it's about Madinga people. You know, more or less, we can do everything for ourselves, but we're not going to continue to make, you know, like this when our people are suffering back for But how do we help them out? You know, one thing looking at the around, no man's an island. You know, we got to rally around uh, each other. And get prepared. Like they say, come on, stay united. We stand together and we fall. The Femusa is going to be a very huge organization. That's it. It's difficult to turn because the way the way it is large, I don't want to say, I don't want to go into detail when it comes to that, but uh, what impact do you wish for Femusa to have on our brothers and sisters in Africa, not only the United States? Oh well, in the first place, the organization is it, uh, you know, this, you know, uh, last for level, yeah, you know what I mean? So, well, uh, you know, when we should be able to put things together, connect, you know, the, let's say, uh, 48 states that are, that can reach one another easily, besides Alaska and Hawaii, you know, once we, had, you know, we cement the organization, put the organization, you know, on its feet, then we're gonna have I know the organization has a stand up for the people back home. Okay. So in order to implement it, we gotta speak with one voice. We gotta have the financial support, the moral support to take, you know, whatever help we want to give up go back home. But, you know, it's just starting. So you cannot, you know, overburn the organization with responsibility and like, bro. The cause of it is to bring the people together first. Once you bring the people together, then you can think about achieving things in Liberia right now. But it's too early to talk about Liberia right now. The most important thing about Formosa right now is bring the people together first. All right. Uh, then my final uh, question for you would be not question about tell us a little bit about why you I mean where you came from and how you interact with Madingos over there or how Madingos interact with one another over there. Well, well so like basically, I, you know, we are from a little state in New Jersey, you know and the uh, size of Liberia. But, um, you know, we have a nice community. People relate to one another, you know, with our Madingo community, and we, with respect to the community, we have a mosque and other things. And, you know, we stand for one another. With respect to the division that are in Minnesota right now, we don't have that in, in, in New Jersey, honestly. You know, because we speak with one voice there. You know so it I sounds mean? like division, whether it's in Minnesota, or wherever, it's a shame in the Madingo community. Absolutely. We feel, you know, this risk, in the eyes of one of you know, normal things. What are we gonna say? Like, people relate to all before in the Hey, they want they all they all of them they are one family. So what happened? Now everybody wanna do something for themselves, you know, people getting some level of education, then we can't handle that opportunity that God gave us. Thank you ever so much for speaking with us. The idea of this conference, whether it succeeds or not. I can assure you that it's a noble one. <clears throat> the people, the community in Liberia, they are very much excited. Please, don't let them down. We are tired of polarizing ourselves waging proxy war on each other and it is time that we move from all the shadows and stand up as a political force in the Republic of Liberia. And given our own experience Like I said, I did not come to praise anyone. This is a conference which I assume is consultative. So by that, we're here to share ideas with one another so that from here, we can correct the mistake. Those mistakes that could have been corrected, we can correct them. And there are certain factors that I want us to consider. 
I was not happy that the organizers of this conference were not able up to now, three years since we were last in Philadelphia. I was not happy that the issue that the issue even has not been resolved. What do I call Limana? Some of you know, some of you don't know. But maybe because you are in America. But back, Limani means a lot to us. They are champions. They were, they were our voices, but no one could hear us. And we have tried and tried for the issue to be resolved. And I was very, very disappointed when I saw that there was a publication on the Limano website, which I read yesterday. I don't know where it got there. Saying that the man will not be here. I know that there are other people in Lebanon that are here today, a significant portion of Lebanon. But I also thought that we should throw the challenge to the organizers of this conference and the eventual leaders of this organization to try to resolve that issue. The other things I wanted to do is to talk about our past leaders.